If you find this video confusing, don't worry, you're in the majority. In my last video, I explored how YJ and Chi named their cubes. They could be a little confusing, but were pretty neat to be honest. However, Moyu and Gan? I'm not sure. Let's start off with Moyu. I don't have any Gan cubes, I'm sorry. Now, if you look at the Gan cube and it has a number on it, then usually the number actually makes sense. So let's say a Gan cube has the number 356 on it. Basically what that means is the first number is a 3, which means it's a 3x3. Three three. The next two numbers are 56. That implies that it's a 56 millimeter cube, so again, 356. That makes so much sense. And consequently, the GAN 4x4, they have the 460, so again, 4x4, 60 millimeters. And they have two 2x2 two two variations, I guess the 249 and the 251. You can work out what they are. But the real problem occurs when you look at the other sections of the name. So let's start off with 3x3. Three three. For a start, one of the big 3x3 releases was the GAN 11M Pro. It's not a 1mm 1x1, one one. it's the 11th, which I'm not going to explain why. Alright, so firstly there was the GAN 357, and then there was the GAN 356. So then they released the GAN 356S, which then they discontinued for some reason, and they released the GAN 356SV2. It's kind of weird. Then they released the GAN 356 Air, which basically, uh, as you can tell by the name, was very light and just more easier to turn. Then they had the Air Grandmaster, the GAN Air Master, the Air Advanced, the Air S, the Air, the Air S Master, the Air Ultimate. Basically, with a bunch of different, like, slight variations. And then they released again a UM, which basically had magnets. And then they released again a SM. So it was basically an improvement over the UM. Okay, if you don't get me, then whatever. And then in late 2018, they released again R and again X, which the R was basically their kind of budget cube. Well, budget for GAN anyway. And obviously, I think everyone knows what the GAN X was, one of the best 3 3s at the time. Then they put the S onto both those. So they released the GAN XS, which is an improvement over the X. And the GAN RS, which is an improvement over the R. So still a little bit confusing, but I can still see where it's going. And then they released the GAN 356M. It's basically the GAN X but less customization. And then they released the GAN. This is where it starts getting confused. They released the GAN AM, which was basically as which is basically the GAN M to the X as it as the AM to the XS. It was basically a cheaper version of the XS. As you can probably tell, I was looking at the computer while I was reading that. Alright, that was ridiculous, but we're not even done yet. Let's go on to Moyu. Now, for Moyu, they're basically two different sides again. We have the budget side and the flagship-ish side. So actually, for the flagship side, I can show you this one picture that summarizes it all here. It's kind of like the YJ thing again, but some squares have not been filled in. And actually, just like YJ, they actually have the same prefixes. I mean suffixes. So the 2 by 2 is the Po. Like, they have the, the Ling Po, they have the Tang Po, they have the Wei Po. And then for the 3 by 3 they have the Ao Long, the Wei Long. The 4x4, four, four four, they have the Wei Su, the Ao Su, and everything. And then on some of them, they released, they released a WR version of it. So they have released the Waypo WR, the Waylong WR, but for some reason the Alsu WR and the Alchuang WR. <laughs> it's kind of weird how they didn't release the WR under the Al line or the Way line. <laughs> this is confusing. And I think it's not too bad of a system, 
although it is obviously kind of confusing. And obviously they had the way along WR 2019, 2020, and 2021, which, you know, does get a little confusing, but at least it tells you what year it is. So actually, the Maylong series isn't too bad. They had the Maylong 2, 3, 4, and 5, 6, and 7, actually, and then they released a few magnetic versions of that. That's all good. What really kills me is the RS series. Now, I've ranted about this, like, before. I'll rant about it again here. Once upon a time, Moe released the MF3 RS. So the number after the MF basically was the amount of layers. So MF3 was a 3 by 3 And then the RS, well, it didn't have anything, but it was effectively the RS1 because it was the first version. So MF3 RS. Then they released another version of the 3 by 3 the MF3 RS2. And then around the same time, they were releasing a bunch of others, like the MF2, the MF4, and MF5, and everything. And then they eventually got to the MF3 RS3, the third version of the 3 by 3 So this was a magnetic version. And then in 2020, they chopped off F they chopped off MF3 and just stuck with RS3 M2020, which is a little bit weird. So okay, we've got to this point. So what was the number after the RS? It was the amount of versions. So RS3. The thing about this cube, I think it was meant to be just a better version of the RS3, sorry, the MF3 RS3, which makes sense. But they just happened to get MF3 RS3, so we got two threes here. And the problem with this is that they could say whichever one was the number that was the third version and the 3x3. Three three. So remember when I said the number after the MF was the size and the number after the RS was the version. Well, they got to RS three, and I guess this number could be the both could be both the number and version M twenty twenty. But then they released the RS four. What was that? No, not the fourth version of a three by three. It was a four by four. So, so suddenly the number after the RS, went from the version to the cube size. They just switched it. <laughs> just, oh my god, that gives me so many headaches. I mean, it's not that bad, but it's, it's just not pleasing at all. And then, what's even worse is that they released the RS2, which was a 2x2. Two two. And guess what cube came before that? MF3 RS2. We have basically the same name, the MF3 RS2 and the RS2. One of them's a 2x2, two two, one of them's a 3x3, three three, being released at different times. That really bugs me. Alright, I'm sure there's more, but I'm just going to stop it there before my brain explodes, and hopefully before your brain explodes as well. Or maybe it already has, which makes sense. Alright, if you found this video interesting, or if you didn't, don't worry. But if you did find it interesting, give it a like. And make sure to subscribe because at the time of filming, we're almost at 400, so it'll be greatly appreciated. And if you know any other cool things related to the video, put them in the comments below because I love reading them. Alright, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. If Mori releases the RS5, I'm gonna freak out.